Don't blink. We have Little Meow on your left and Andy Murasaki on your right. This is a super fight quality uh, match that we have going on. Right away, a double pull from both competitors. Little Meow on a Baron Bolo. And he's trying to suck in the leg, and he does. And it's going to be one advantage, Little Meow. And they go out of bounds. Little Meow and Andy are coming out fast. Referee's going to reset them. And they restart. One advantage point for Andy Mirasaki. One apiece. Little Meow's trying to get to a Baron Bolo, so is Andy. This is a clash of some of the most up and coming talent that there is. Little Meow trying to roll on the Baron Bolo, no dice. Andy Mirasaki returns the same. He's looking for the Coyote High Ankle Lock. The angle's not there, he has to stay in bounds. This will be two points if they go out of bounds. They're being instructed as such, so if they touch the wall, it will be two points. <laughs> it's very important that Little Meow stay in bounds, or if you're Andy, maybe even try and coerce the action out of bounds. It depends how tight the referee sees that ankle lock that his coach, Coyote High, is known for from the De La Hiva. <laughs> Plenty of time to go, one advantage apiece after a whirlwind of action in the opening minute. Now looking at both of these guys in person, it looks like Andy Mirasaki is the more built competitor. He looks a lot bigger than Little Meow. Here we can get a clear indication. Little Meow on an ankle lock of his own. Very smart strategy. Depends how deep that the referee perceives both of these. Andy's trying to assert himself a little bit more. So is Little Meow. Little Meow improves his grip, and he's kind of keeping the same grip. This is a tricky spot as a referee, where we draw on uh, Alex Brandao's experience in this position. Action has come to a standstill. Both of these guys respective kings of their age categories. Little Meow formerly in the Juvenile 2 division, Andy currently in the Juvenile 1, both world champions in their respective right. Talison still under 18 is eligible to compete in those adult divisions. There is some discomfort displayed by, by Little Meow. Referee stops the action. Now this is going to be interesting. Let's see if what's going to happen here. I suspect maybe two points each. Yep, it's going to be two points each for the submission that went out. Now we get a restart. Look for this double pull. We're going to keep a close eye and see what happens. See who gets the guard pulled first. Very important. Double pull. See in the referee's body language. Now working from double pull. They have 20 seconds if they become idle to work. There's a leg drag by Little Meow. Andy doing a very good job controlling the pants and inside position of his feet. He stands up, he comes up top for one advantage point. And this match, oh, and he gets a guard pass. He, can he stick it? Little Meow is trying to invert. Let's see what happens. Little Meow has his knee in just a little bit. He pulls that leg in and does recover. And he recovers into the reverse worm, it looks like. There's that final grip pass for the reverse worm. He needs to swing back in front and he will get it. There's that reverse worm from Little Meow. Keenan Cornelius looking on in the background. Now it is two advantages to one. Andy is ahead, one advantage, and I think that this match will be decided by advantages. That grip faltered on the lapel for just a moment. Little Meow tightens it just a little bit. Little Meow in a good position to sweep, but has not been able to do so thus far. You can see him working for that grip on the lapel frantically. Has not got it yet. Andy doing a very good job of controlling that leg with his right hand. Andy showing good flexibility. Very unusual to train against this style of defense, against that reverse worm. Not something that you encounter every day. So a very interesting approach. To countering Talison's attempted setup from the reverse worm. Talison being cornered by fellow competitor Jonas Andrade in the background. Three minutes to go. Little Meow's path to victory would be 
one uh, sweep, obviously. Here, let's see if he can get it. He almost opted to come on top for a little bit, but tried to roll under, and Andy stuffed it. Here's a grip, or here's a view of the legs, so we can see all of those grips. Little Meow looks like he might be able to come on top for two, but probably does not want to exist there in two and a half minutes, for two and a half minutes rather, in the guard of Andy Murasaki. Very good strategy. It looks like Andy has wrapped up the ankle once again, and this is going to play a part in the, the, the determining the winner of this match. I don't think we're going to see a guard pass. I think we're going to see a sweep exchange advantages and that that uh, grip that he has on the ankle could potentially go into an advantage it does not look tight enough yet Callison's lapel controlling the back of Murasaki preventing him from getting a full arch on that should be of note that Talison can come on top for two maybe because if he comes up on two he needs to clear threat of a submission before any points are awarded so it could be one of those situations where he gets up on top, does not get awarded points for some extended period of time. Still working that lapel. Just 90 seconds to go. They're going to need to dig deep. Somebody needs to get... Uh, Towson is going to need to turn on the gas. And he's going to come on top. He looks at the referee. Does the referee think that this is clear submission? He points to that ankle and says no dice on that uh, on that sweep. He needs to clear that ankle. This is going to be a frustrating exchange for Little Meow because he's going to get stuck. Very nice strategy from Andy Mirasaki. Let's see if Talison can get up. Andy's arching into it. If he arches enough, he could earn an advantage on this submission attempt. One minute to go. Can Little Meow do it? Or is Andy going to use strategy to shut him down? Andy comes back on top. Little Meow still down. One advantage. 40 points to go. Can he do it? He disbalances a little bit. Little Meow is inverting. Can he get it? He's going for the Pelopada. He hooks the leg. Mirasaki keeping his base. Towson has that lapel all the way underneath. Just 30 seconds. Can Little Meow do it? Or is Andy going to shut him down? There, he back rolls, he takes a big risk, he takes a huge risk, and he gets a grab ride. And he shows the face and he shuts it down with 15 seconds to go. Thousands unloading the gas tank. It looks like it's not going to be enough. The final 10 seconds are ticking away. He's bearing down. Oh, yeah, he's going to run out of time. Another advantage there at the end for Andy, taking it by two advantages for that ankle lock. Andy Mirastaki over Little Meow!